Hi, these comments are for uh, ZA and, and I am Michael from OTC online TOEFLcourse.com. How are you doing today? So you're doing some integrated speaking practice. I'm getting ready to listen to your response right now. Scatter hoarding, which is when animal uh, store their food to eat it literally, literally when there is a plenty of uh, food. The professor provided us an example of the squirrel which uh, live in the North America and uh, the pre uh, uh, favorite uh, uh, food for him is the nut and uh, which is uh, found a lot of nuts in the in the autumn but uh, not in difficult to find it in winter so the squirrel dig around 100 hole to hit our parent uh, one hide. knot in each hole and so however even if there are uh, animal take or s found one or uh, some of these hole the squirrel is still even if a animals is take or find right take or find you having a little bit of trouble with your verb tenses in there and a lot of pauses and hesitations okay so let's take a look at the rubrics here uh, I don't need to listen to the whole thing again I have the general idea so as you're explaining the information you're just not speaking clearly so you're having trouble with some of those academic words pronouncing clearly some of the sounds in those words two you have you have a lot of pauses a lot of hesitations in there which make it difficult to understand you and you need to vary your intonation more with your language use, you're kind of all over the place with your verbs, right? You're not quite sure, do, do I need, do, whether you need the simple present form of the verb or do you need the past tense form of the verb? In many cases, when you're explaining the information from a reading or a listening passage, you can use present tense verbs in there. Uh, your score here is not going to be that high, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to put you at three. So it says it exhibits problems with intonation. I mean, you score two problems with pronunciation, intonation, or pacing. Speech may not be sustained at a consistent level throughout. It wasn't consistent throughout the whole response. You had to stop and think and then get more words and then say a little bit and get more ideas. A lot of starting and stopping in there. A lot of problems with intelligibility, obscure meaning in places, and some limitations with your grammar and your vocabulary. <laughs> and I think for the most part, you, you're explaining a lot of the relevant information from the task completely and accurately, but the delivery and language use problems are getting in the way. So I'm going to put you at 2.0 out of 4, uh, 15 points out of 30 on this practice test. So one of the things you can do, I think you started this, is to balance your speaking with pronunciation practice on one day and then speaking practice on another. I think this is a good strategy for you so that you can address the problems you're having according to the TOEFL IBT rubric categories. That way you're getting feedback with pronunciation and language use and topic development uh, weekly and I think you will be able to get better. All right, keep up the good work.